Hello everybody. Um, today is going to be the first video that we're going to do in Math 10. It is going to start in Chapter 1 at 1 decimal 1, Imperial Measures of Length. Um, the lesson will focus on developing personal reference to estimate imperial measures of length um, and how those imperial units of length measurements, um, there will be uh, ones of common ones that we will use are inch, foot, yard, and mile. Some of them that you've probably heard of. Um, in class, I will uh, do a demonstration using the meter stick just to get an idea of what they are. So, um, if we look at the diagram here, um, many of the units in the imperial system, they base them on uh, the human body. So, for example, um, if you see the diagram there, it, has, it shows an inch is roughly from your, um, your knuckle, uh, uh, sorry, the, your joint uh, to the end of your finger, okay? I'm not going to read through these. You can read through those um, on your own. All right. Uh, here's some of your conversions um, for imperial unit. Um, so we have inch, and our abbreviation for inch is I N dot, um, and the reference is the thumb length, or you know, from your um, knuckle, you know, your um, joint to your end of your finger. Uh, we have foot, which is a uh, lowercase F T period. And um, we use that came from literally your foot that you have, your yard. Yard is YD period, and um, a reference would be your, the arm span. And then we have a mile, um, which is lower MI period. And that's a distance uh, walk in 20 minutes, uh, and uh, sorry, 20 minutes. Um, the relationship between the units um, in one foot, uh, there is 12 inches, so one foot is equal to 12 inches. And a yard, yard is equal to, uh, one yard is equal to three feet or one yard is equal to 36 inches. The next we have is one mile, which is equal to 1,760 yards, or one mile is equal to 5,280 feet, which is just, as you can notice, there's, um, it's three feet um, times 12 inches, right? It gives you 36 inches there for the yard. And the same idea, you multiply by three here, okay? Um, you'll notice that the, at the room we have what's called um, a meter stick or a yard stick. Uh, they're very close in measure. We'll talk about those in, in some of the next sections. Um, but a yardstick, um, and you can see the foot how it compares, right? And there's three of these feet in one yard. So you have one yard, one right here, and one mile. Okay. Um, many rulers that you deal with have both measurements. They have the um, the imperial, which are your foot inches, um, and you also have um, on the other side, you can see at the bottom there in the diagram is centimeters. Okay, you'll have those as well. Um, you'll notice that on inches, it's broken up into sixteenths. So you can see one inch is here, and then this is half an inch, this is a quarter of an inch, this is an eighth of an inch, and the small little one here is a sixteenth of an inch. All right, this is very popular um, using a measurement in carpentry or um, any construction, really, is they, they use these terms a lot. Even though it's not our um, our system in Canada, in Canada we use SI, and SI is a system that we'll talk about in some of the next sections. The pencil point um, is closest to the seventh uh, division mark between three inches and four inches, so that allows you to see that that it means three inch, three inches and seven sixteenths, right? So seven sixteenths, as you can see, the tip of the pencil is fits right here and that would be 7 16. This would be 8 16, which is a half, right? Okay, and you, you don't write these in decimal form. Um, these are put in uh, fraction form. Alright, so the first example what we're going to do is we're going to learn to convert between imperial units um, within, right? So we're going to take 5 yards and we're going to convert that to feet. So the method I like to use here is what's called the fact of labor method. You'll use this in chemistry and um, science forces any converting. This is the way I like to show it. So what I do is I put x, which means unknown. So x feet is equal to 5 yards. So we put x is what we're looking for. The unit that we're looking for is feet equal to what we're given. We're given 5 yards. So Conversion factor, um, if you look back into the chart on the previous page, 
it says that in one yard there is three feet. So that's going to be our conversion factor. Okay. So what we do is we're going to multiply that. So we're going to get our set of brackets here. All right. So we'll those brackets will make a fraction. And that's what we're going to convert. So on the numerator, the numerator we put in what we're trying to find. So we're trying to find the feet. F T D two periods. And we know that there's three feet in one yard. So what you're trying to find out, what you're trying to convert to, that goes in the numerator. What you're getting rid of, the unit that you're already given, that goes in the denominator. Because then the yards will divide out. A yard divided by a yard, the units will divide out. And that leaves you with 15 yards. And you're finished. That's it. It's that simple. 3 times 5 is equal to 15. And there's your conversion factor. Okay? And to show that the yards have divided, we just... Divide these out, and they're equal to 1, and we're left with 15 feet. Okay, next. We have x inches is equal to 5 yards. So now what we want to do is we want to get our conversion factor there's our conversion factor and what we're going to do is we see if there's a relationship between inches and yards and if you flick back like I said previously if you go back to your chart scroll up you see that one yard is equal to 36 inches so this is our conversion factor that we're going to use Go back down, put in 36 inches period, one yard period equals, remember, yards divide with yards. That's why we put it in the denominator. And we're left with inches, and 5 multiplied by 36 is. 180 inches. It's as simple as that. So, remember, what you're looking for is x, so an unknown amount. Inches is equal to 5 yards, what you're given. Multiply by the conversion factor, and you can have more than one conversion factor. We'll get there. And that's equal to 180 inches. Next one is we're going to convert 51 inches. I should say two feet and inches. So this one's a little different. We're going essentially we're going to a, a bigger number to a smaller number, but our units are getting larger, obviously. So what we need to do is we got to figure out okay, what do we have here? So since we have 12 inches in a foot, so, uh, in example B, because we're changing to feet and inches, it's a little different. We can't use the um, the factor label method like I did the conversion. We're going to do something similar, but it's going to be um, it's going to be a little different. So what you want to do is you want to figure out how many feet you can get out of here, and then you're going to have a leftover amount of inches, okay? Because you already have inches. So I know some of you are saying, oh, well, we're going to feet and inches. We already have inches. But so we want to take out as many whole feet as we can, and then the leftover will be the inches, all right? So... What we do is we're going to convert into an improper uh, fraction. So what we have here is we got our fraction. Let's see. We'll take our I'll get our fraction here. All right, and we have um, fifty-one. Oh, fifty-one inches. That's going to equal 51 
and we know that there's 12 inches and one foot, so we're going to divide this by 12, and that's actually going to be how many feet it is. However, this is going to create a decimal. We don't want decimals, like I mentioned earlier. We do not have decimals when we're dealing with this. We have fractions. So, what we need to do is we need to change our improper fraction into a mixed number. So, how many 12s will divide into 51? Well, we know um, once it's 12, we take it twice. 2 times 12 is 24. 3 times 12 is 36. And 4 times 12 is 48. If we went one further with 5 feet, it would be 60. 5 times 12 is 60. That's too much. So, we know that this is going to be transferred into. Four four and the denominator is twelve. So you guys recall moving to a mixed number. Twelve times four is forty-eight. Forty-eight subtracted from fifty-one is three. So now we have it as 4 and 3 twelfths of a foot. You're not going to, normally we would take that fraction and what we would do it is we would um, take it and we would reduce it or put it in lowest terms. We're not going to do that now because the numerator is the inches. So our final answer looks like. Four feet. So your coefficient out front, your larger number, your whole number, is going to be the feet, and the numerator from your leftover fraction from your mixed number is going to be your inches. So we have four feet, three inches is equivalent to 51 inches. I know that's a little difficult. Let's do another example. Put 51 inches into so many feet, so many inches. Well, since we already know that 51 inches is equal to 4 feet 3 inches, we can kind of cheat a little bit, right? You would just continue to do, you would redo what we did there. If it wasn't the same number, that's fine. Now we're going to convert our feet into yards. So we know that one, there's three feet in one yard. So essentially what we're going to do is we can take the four feet, divide it by uh, three, or get it, uh, I just look at it and say, okay, well, if there's three in there, this is going to actually convert to one yard, one foot, because there's three feet. Here. I don't think you need the fraction there. You can if you want, but I don't think it's a uh, need. So just think of it as 4 divided by 3. That would be 4 thirds, which would be 1 and 1 third, which would give you 1 yard, 1 foot. So we put 1 yard, 1 foot, 3 inches. That's it. So what you're going to do now is you're going to work on check your understanding, convert 7 yards to feet and inches, and then you're going to do 62 inches into feet and yards. I have the answers there for you, so you can check them. There's the answers, but you're going to work them out in the space provided. So um, each of these videos will be approximately 15 minutes in length, so um, this video is coming to an end. In the next video, we'll start with example 2. Thanks, everybody.